dear students please note down these notes have been uploaded in the description of video please download your notes dear students in this lecture of ngo spawns today i will clear carpel pistil gynoecium female reproductive organ of ngo spawns as well as in this lecture i will clear structure of an ovule integumented megasporangium dear students the gynoecium that is a megasporophyll and that represents female reproductive organ of angiosperms the gynoecium the megasporophyll may consist of one carpel the condition is monocarpal the two carpels the condition is bicarpal three carpels the condition is tricarpal five carpels the condition is pentacarpal ray or dear students the gynoecium the megasporophyll may consist of several carpels then the condition is multicarpal ray all these carpels may remain free then the condition is apocarpus the free carpels as in case of michelia in case of ranunculus all these carpels they remain free but here not down in case of poppy papaver somniferum in case of hibiscus china rose all these carpels the several carpels five carpels in case of hibiscus china rose shoe flower but all these five carpels remain fused the condition is syn carpus dear students syn the fused carpels the carpels are fused and here in case of poppy the papaver several carpels are there and all these carpels they remain fused the condition is syn carpus this is a single free unit of gynoecium that is a pistil dear students the free unit of gynoecium the female reproductive organ of angiosperm that is pistil and each pistil is differentiated into three parts this terminal part it is stigma and this elongated stalk like structure it is style and this lower basal part which is swollen it is ovary this terminal part stigma that acts as a landing platform for the pollen grains dear students this style it is an elongated stalk like structure and this style connects the stigma with the ovary not down this basal swollen part it is ovary and this ovary acts as an unripened fruit dear students in this ovary several ovules are present or it may consist of one ovule as in case of wheat only one ovule in case of mango only one ovule but in case of watermelon in case of papaya orchids several ovules are present dear students these ovules which represent future seed it means these ovules are unripened seed which become mature seed after fertilization in this ovary these ovules remain attached with this ovary wall by parent chymatous cushions these are named placenta this is a structure of an ovule it is an integumented megasporangium dear students this ovule generally it is anatropous anatropous ovule it is inverted in which this micropyle that faces downwardly and this basal part which is chalaja it lies at terminal part dear students this ovule it is integumented megasporangium but this integument one two layers it means the ovule generally consists of two coats the two integuments but between these two integuments coats an aperture is present and this aperture this pore it is micropyle through this pore through this micropyle the pollen tube enters in this embryo sac or new cell is this main body of ovule 
that remains connected by this small stoke like structure this small stoke it is funiculus or it is funicular and this entire body of ovule which gets attached by this funicle small stalk this point of connection it is hilar but not down in case of angiosperm this is a typical ovule it is anatropous ovule it is inverted ovule in this inverted ovule the funicle grows it extends up to the basal part the chelaja and this extension of this funicle it is raphe dear students this raphe this extension of this funicle that possesses a vascular strand in that vascular strand xylem phloem vascular tissue is present through that vascular tissue supply of nutrients it means this vascular strand it supplies nourishment to the ovule no down this is main body of ovule which is integumented the two coats are there generally and between these coats integuments and aperture is there it is micropyle this basal part of ovule body it is chelaja in this ovule this multicellular parenchymatous tissue is and this parenchymatous tissue it is new cells not our new cells competitive exam students this new cells which is equivalent to megasporangium in that new cells embryo sac is present dear students embryo sac or it is female gametophyte each and every point for competitive exams this embryo sac or it is female gametophyte that consist of eight haploid nuclei not down in this embryo sac eight haploid nuclei are present out of these eight haploid nuclei three nuclei are present towards the challenge end and these three nuclei which lies towards the challenge end are antipodal nuclei and the three nuclei which are present towards this micropylet and these three nuclei towards this micropylar end collectively constitute an egg apparatus in that egg apparatus this middle nucleus that is an egg or oospere and two nuclei produce the synergid cells this group of three cells this middle cell it is egg or oospere and two cells these are synergids one egg oospere and two synergids collectively constitute an egg apparatus and the two nuclei which are present in the middle part represent two polar nuclei dear student this is all about carpel the pistil the gynoecium the megasporophyll the female reproductive organ of angiosperms and a free unit of gynoecium that free unit is pistil and each pistil is differentiated into three part this basal swollen part it is ovary and this small stalk like structure it is style and this terminal part which acts as a landing platform for pollen grains this terminal part it is stigma in this ovary ovules are present ovary represents the unripened fruit and in that ovary the ovules are present which represent future seeds it means the ovules are unripened seeds while the ovary is unripened fruit the student it means a ripened ovary becomes a fruit and the ripened ovules become seeds and these ovules may remain attached by this parenchymatous cushion 
in that ovary wall and these parenchymatous cushions are placenta the structure of ovule this small stalk of this ovule it is funical or funiculus this is a typical ovule it is anatropous it is inverted ovule this main body and this main body of ovule it is covered by two integuments there is a small aperture between the coat or integuments that aperture is micropyle and this mass it is parenchymatous mass of cells that is new cells and dear students in this new cells this structure it is embryo sac or female gametophyte in that female gametophyte eight haplonuclei represent three antipodal two middle or polar nuclei and three nuclei towards this micropylar end constitute an egg apparatus 